Welcome everybody to Ah Nah I'm kidding. If <laughs> take it away. Oh my Christ. Um so disclaimer, I was supposed to record with Eric. Um, but his girl got sick or something. So best wishes to his girl. Hope she gets better. Um so I found the next best thing. My boy. My God. <laughs> That's and, me. You see, this is, this is funny because I told him, oh, let's do the DCEU video. And he goes, no, I don't want to do it. And now he's doing a DCEU video. Uh, oh, Don't Lord. Beach. Help me. <laughs> yeah. So, as you guys may have known, DC fandom was last Saturday. It was epic. It was the Comic-Con that we never got. Um, because Comic-Con at home was a failure. Other than the new mutant <laughs> footage we got, which... Again, I have to reiterate this. I will not be seeing New Mutants because I don't have a movie theater to go to unless I fucking hitchhike to Connecticut. Yeehaw! So, I will not be seeing New Mutants unless my father takes me to go see New Mutants in Connecticut. And I will not be seeing Tenet because unless I can find a way to see it in IMAX, I refuse to see it any other way. So... It's either I see it in IMAX by a miracle, or I review it when it comes out on 4K, which will not be until, like, I don't even know, December or January. Um, it won't be the same, though. Yeah, I know, but it's better than... Actually, it's not. I don't even care anymore. Moving on. You guys already know this. DC fandom, we got a glimpse at what the DCEU will be like. Um... And I'd say, for the most part, it's pretty looking pretty good. So, we're not only going to talk about the movies. We're going to talk about the two video games that they announced um, very briefly. Because I don't really have much to say, to, to say about those. But, um, here we are. So, um, I'm going to talk about these topics in order of excitement. So, my least excited to my most excited. So, the first thing that I'm going to start with is Black Adam. Now, Miguel, did you see the trailers that they released? Yeah. Okay. I saw the whole panel. Oh, yeah, see, he, he watched DC Fandom. So, I, I did not because I was at Six Flags. So, describe how it was to be watching DC Fandom live. With the people, uh, it was pretty dope. Coming coming from a person, which is me, that was not excited for the D DC anything anymore because of how they change movie, change actor, or different movie in different universe. Uh, to start off, uh, now I guess I have more hopes than what I had because I had zero. But starting with Black Adam. It was dope. First, the you see the first trailer when they're introducing him, like all that. Yeah. They that happens, and then Dwayne the Rock Johnson, the man, comes and he starts talking, answering some questions, and then people ask him, "Wait, so who from the Justice Society is gonna be in the movie?" And he said, "You know what? Let me just show you a trailer, a, a little video," and they show Hawkman. Adam, Sp uh, Adam Smasher, Doctor Fate. Uh, Dr. Fate. Who was the other one? I, th I think there was another person. I know there was one more. I forgot who it was. Yeah, and I'm over here like, holy shit. Okay. Yeah. It could be very interesting. I saw that. <laughs> Honestly, I was watching the trailer, and the the plot itself sounds interesting. But when I heard, oh, Doctor Fate is gonna be in the DCEU movie, I said, whoa. Yup. So, my interest has peaked severely. Um, one thing I can phrase about Black Adam, I love that they're keeping him a villain. They're not doing the Venom stupid ass shit where he's an anti-hero. And, uh, don't get me wrong, I fucking love Venom. It's probably one of the most underrated Marvel movies ever made. But, I did not like how he's not a villain. But, I know why they did that. I like how the plot has him as a villain. He's... Mm -hmm done crimes he's still doing crimes and he's got to be kept on the leash i like that 
that's the story. And you also know. how he also has a reason why he's doing it. It's not like, oh look, I'm being a bad guy. <laughs> he's like, yo, like my people were enslaved and I did not like that shit. They were accent for hero, but psych, y'all got me. I'm fucking up anybody who trying to fuck my people over. And he just continuing with that. Yeah, um, which should be I, interesting in, in present time because I mean, it's either his people went extinct or they're still here and he still believes that you know he's well, tough I don't, shit. I don't think so. I think the wizard from Shazam was the last of those people. I think I want to say that. Mm. Sidetrack, um, Shazam. Um, we're not gonna talk about Shazam because there wasn't a panel for Shazam, although I thought there was gonna be. I guess there wasn't. Um, the Shazam sequel has a title, Shazam Fury of the Gods. I don't know what that means for, um... I, I, I have an idea, kind of. Because you know how the name Shazam is spelled by different letters? Like, every letter is a name of a god or some shit like that, right? Yeah. The strength of da da da, the lightning mm -hmm. of Zeus or some shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe... They're gonna explain how all these power came to be type shit or I don't know. That's why I came to mind when I heard that title. Um something... what are you gonna say? No, I was about to say something that has to do with the gods and how he earns his ability or the origins of their ability, because supposedly isn't in Shazam gonna fight Black Adam? Oh, that's supposedly and, and a movie the, point. In the future. Okay, okay so, so in my head, if they talk about Furies of the God, blah, blah, a little origin on how this power came to be, how Black Adam got a hands on it, even though they might explain that in his movie. But they will go more into that magic side, I guess, of the DCE. Probably. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the sequel goes into, maybe there's consequences for Shazam giving the kids the power. Maybe that's, they do something like that. Uh -huh. But, um, I'm excited for Shazam sequel because I love that first movie a lot. And so did a lot of other people. But Black Adam, I'm very excited for it. I still don't think it's necessary. I don't think anyone does. Um, but... You know what? If it's good, it's good. You can't complain. Yes, sir. Next thing. Batman Gotham Knights. Now, this is a video game from Warner Brothers Montreal. Uh -huh. I was not excited about this game at all. For two things. Number one, we were getting a new Batman game. Why am I not excited? Because we already had three, four... Four great Batman games. For all the haters on Arkham Origins, four great Batman games. Uh -huh. We did not need another one. So when I heard, oh yeah, it's going to be a Batman game about the Court of Owls, I was like, why? What is the purpose of that? Now, I'm excited for the Court of Owls because, you know, that's pretty cool. But, uh, again, I did not need a new Batman game. I said two reasons, I don't know why, that that was just the biggest reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is another reason as to why I'm still not excited, but... So, we get the trailer, and it turns out, hey, Batman's not in the game, supposedly. Bro, we know he's about to appear that oh, yeah. point through the game, some, some type of shit, I don't know. Yeah. But, basically, you play as the Bat Family. You play as Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin. And when you really think about it, it's a team of three Robins and Batgirl. <laughs> wink, wink. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Which, FYI, uh, I hope that the Robin that's being Robin is Damian Wayne, for the love of Christ. Please. Please. Please, Warner Brothers, please. I, I uh, already mentioned this in my DCU video. I'm a lover of Damian Wayne. Cause... He's my favorite Robin. Because Jason Todd, Red Hood, okay, uh, uh, Dick Grayson, Nightwing, so is there another Robin before Tim Drake. that? Or... Tim Drake. He comes after Tim the, Drake. the other two. Yeah, it has to be yeah, Tim Drake. Yeah, but I think it's I Damian think Wayne. Be. I think it's Damian Wayne because the costume looks like Damian Wayne. It doesn't look like Tim Drake. 
I mean, also, let's be honest, when they first show them off, yo, why their outfit looks like sweaters, yo? Like, those sweaters you can hot topic. Listen, the, the, the trailer, regardless, the, tra the trailer itself was very good. It was a cool trailer. I like how they showcased all four of them. It looks very cool. I've seen the memes everywhere where everyone's like, oh, as soon as our, uh, Gotham Knights comes out, and it's like a fucking bunch of gun-shooting memes because everyone's going to play as Red Hood, and I've seen the memes. But, I mean, I can't disagree because if you played the Red Hood DLC in Arkham Knight, yeah, that, that, that shit was badass. Running around shooting everybody. But, yeah, I, I, I played that. Um, moving on. Um... <laughs> But the game itself looks very good. Um, it was a nice surprise that it's the Bat Family. The, yeah. You know, that immediately skyrocketed my interest. I was like, oh, well, okay. Now we're not playing as Batman, so that makes it way more interesting. My issue with the game. Um, this is basically Avengers. Yes. <laughs> Is basically Avengers. Now, I don't want to say it's exactly like Avengers because we don't know if there's going to be a gear system. We don't know if there's going to be a costume system. We don't know if you can upgrade the characters or not. We don't know. But from the gameplay that was released, it really reminded me of Avengers. The enemies have pretty similar health bars. There's co-op. The game is confirmed to have co-op. I... I don't know what it is, but when I saw that, I was like, man, this really reminds me of Avengers. Side note, I pre-ordered the special edition for Avengers. I get the game on Tuesday. I will be streaming that. I'm looking forward to oh, that. Oh, shit. Is next week it come out? It comes out on Friday, but I get the game What early. the fuck? Yo, time flies. Yeah, right? So, um... But, yeah, this game really reminds me of Avengers. Now, again, it could be really different because... You know, Batman has that really good combat system that Avengers does not have. But then again, you need to ask yourself, are they going to carry the combat system from the Arkham games to this? From the fighting that I saw, it doesn't look like they're going to do that. So, we shall see. But that's my biggest negative about the game, is that it looks really a lot like Avengers. But this is... 2021 and um I was gonna say it's coming out on next gen but this is I think this is gonna come out on last gen too right maybe well uh uh which Gotham one Knights. nah I think it's only gonna be next gen well then that's the advantage they I have mean, I think the I think they confirmed at the end of the trailer but oh well um but yeah I'm I guess interested in the game, uh, I guess the biggest, the two biggest takeaways are the fact that you don't play as Batman, which is my biggest interest. I like the costumes, by the way. Batgirl's costume looks so comic book inspired. I love it. And I like how they got multiple. That's, that's some shit I love. Red Hood's love costume looks really dope. Um, Nightwing looks like Nightwing. You can't really change it that well. You can change it, but he looks like, you know, or he looks like pretty much like the Arkham Nightwing and there, Robin's there was, uh, there was uh, Robin Sue I saw that it reminded me of the red uh, the, the the red hood Robin Wait, uh, how you call that shit when when he got like that mask and it looks like a bird that he got about. Yeah, I saw a suit like that. I'm like, oh shit. That looks dope Um, but yeah, and the other biggest takeaway is the court of owls I heard that it's gonna have like a horror type esque feeling so, I'm interested in that. But Arkham Knight kind of did that. So, they're going to have to kind of change that. And Mr. Freeze looks like he's going to play a big role. Speaking of that, um, I got to shout out the amazing design for the cold gun Mr. Freeze has. Because that shit is business. Oh, yeah. Um, sure they're like, it'll send you back into the Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> what killed the dinosaur? The Ice Age! <laughs> <laughs> I should have did the Batman and Robin review with you, bro. Uh... <laughs> Moving on. We don't speak of that. I have a review for that. Check that out. That's where you will hear those comments. 
<laughs> Next thing, Wonder Woman 1984. Um, I'm gonna let Miguel speak on this first because I know he really loved this more than I did probably. So, what do you think of 1984 and what did this trailer do for you? First thing, Cheetah. <laughs> Straight into Cheetah. Cheetah. She looks fucking yeah, amazing. That's the biggest takeaway from the trailer. Um, <laughs> now I, I'm gonna say this about Cheetah. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't. But let let let's look at DC's previous mistakes, shall we? Batman v Superman. Man of Steel didn't really have shit CGI. It had like one bad shot. Batman v Superman. Their final fight was at night with Doomsday. You know how mm -hmm. that looked. Wonder <laughs> Woman had shit CGI at the end with Ares. And, Ares looked fucking terrible. And then terrible. the suit also that he had the armor. Yeah. That Suicide Squad like had that really bad third act with Enchantress and fucking the brother and all that. It looked horrible. Brother? Oh my Sister. God. Um... Then Justice League, they just didn't give a fuck what time of day it was. They still had bad CGI. Oh, that, that mustache. mustache. Don't, Don't get me get started. started. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> I think... It, it, listen, if I'm being honest with you, I think Aquaman probably has the best third act of all of the DCEU movies. Hell yeah. The, the fight with Aquaman and Ocean Master is business. Mm -hmm. um, it has... And you, and you could feel the emotion behind the fight. Oh, yeah. It, it, um, so... I... Really hope that was not the third act because DC, for the most part, likes to hide their shit CGI at night. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm convinced that that shot with the bank, I don't think that's her human form. I think she's in cheetah form, they just hit it because they don't want to show too much. I hope, but it I doesn't mean, look I, bad. I did, I did, I did tell you that, that for that, that bank, bank shot, I, I, I thought she already, already got, got the, the cheetah, cheetah ability. ability. But she doesn't got the next evolution, which is her actually looking like a cheetah. Who knows? I, I don't know the origin of cheetah, so... Yeah, same. And I definitely know that the, what's being told in this movie is not her origin story. I know that for a fact, and I know plot details that I won't spoil for people that did not read the leaks. But I know how she becomes cheetah. Um... Chris Pine as Steve is coming back. Um... I was never really against this. I just needed the reason why. I know the reason why he's back. Again, no spoilers. Um, it looks like they just and, and, and I love Screen Rant. Screen Rant are a bunch of fucking idiots. After the trailer comes out, they say, "Oh yeah, Steve and Diana's roles are reversed." Really? You don't say? Cause that wasn't right. obvious. Right now, Diana is gonna fly an airplane with bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's shit, she'll live. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, um, I don't mind Steve coming back, I guess. I mean, I just hope that it's not forced. I really do. I hope that it feels natural. They already have the good chemistry. Again, it's just in the writing. But if you ask me, I don't think he needs to be in this movie. I would say that the movie should be just, um, Diana grieving, but then again, that's kind of what Wonder, um, not Wonder Woman, uh, Justice League was, kind of. You wanna know something? Yeah. I feel good that they bring him back for one reason, you wanna know why? What? Cause if she were a guy in a new relationship, or a new guy, and the new guy is involved in all this shit, yeah, at that point, Diana, she's from the streets, if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just found that that bring him back, to be honest. Um, I, I, honestly, I don't think she should be in a relationship at all. I think she's just better by herself, but... Um, I, I don't know with Steve. I don't know. At first, I was like, I don't mind him coming back, but then I'm just like... You the more you think about it, it's bro. like... So my my believe it or not my excitement I I have it last for the DCEU movies for a reason I put Black Adam below this only because we really didn't get any footage and I wasn't excited for it. Yeah. This we've had a lot of footage for and we know a lot about this movie. 
I my excitement, believe it or not, has kind of decreased for this movie. I was supposed to already have seen it. It was supposed to come out in June, then it got delayed to the day before my birthday, and then it got delayed again. But yeah, I my excitement has kind of de decreased, but we shall see. Hopefully, it's better than the first. Apparently, Zack Snyder saw the movie and was like, "Yeah, this is a great movie." Mm, so, who knows? Next up, the Suicide Squad video game, or Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. You gotta go, that trailer was fucking amazing. <laughs> you know, believe it or not, people are gonna ask me, oh, like, what do you think of it? And I'm gonna be like, well, the trailer wasn't anything I didn't expect. Everything that happened in that trailer, I expected. Now, does that make the trailer bad? No, it was a great trailer. It's pretty much exactly what I expected. I expected chaos and mayhem with Suicide Squad characters and evil Superman. That is exactly what we got. It was a now, really uh, good trailer. Reveal, though, that re even though we know that, I mean, as soon as you see the Brainiac shit, that, that's just confirmed. Yes, and it is Brainiac clowns. Oh my God, who's at the big ship? <laughs> Clearly, you never played Injustice 2. <laughs> I, I, I mean, oh, Jesus Christ. Nah, but uh, as soon as you see Brainiac, you're like, okay, so the reason why they're fighting the Justice League is maybe because they're brainwashed. Or maybe because Brainiac? it's maybe. Listen, when I saw when I first heard that the storyline for this game is, oh, the Suicide Squad is hunting down the Justice League. I was like, okay, this is what they wanted to do with the DCEU, but they never did it. Basically, the vision that I had was that they they fuck shit up in Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. Amanda Waller was like, whoa, 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 we can't have this shit, bro. What's up with y'all? So, they grouped the Suicide Squad. They hunt down the Justice League because of what they did. Now, this game is tweaking that. What I think is, is that Brainiac is going after the Justice League. The Justice League defeat them, but they're tweaking it because Superman is evil. Now, where the rest of the Justice League are, I have no idea because they were not shown in this trailer. I, no, heard... I have a feeling it's gonna be exactly like that. Like all of them is brainwashed by Brainiac, some shit like that. Exactly. That's what, personally, that's my feeling. And if that's the case, we could have possibly the best video game superhero third act in history. Now, granted, this would go into the cliche with all of Warner Brothers versus movies where they fight for five minutes and then they team up to take on the bad guy. But the thing about a video game is you can have it last. You can have the conflict with the Suicide Squad and the Justice League last for six, seven or however long hours until they team up to fight Brainiac. That's the beauty of a video game. So, if that happens, I'm not going to complain. And, why would you complain? Because this is Rocksteady. They know how to do their shits. It's simple. I'm not worried about this game. Even if the trailer was bad, I'd be like, okay, I'm still not worried. Because it's Rocksteady. It's simple as that. Um, The roster in the trailer was Harley, King Shark... Deadshot and Captain Boomerang. Um, apparently, these people have abilities now. Captain Boomerang was the one that I noticed the most. He throws yeah. the boomerangs and he runs after them. Um, I guess I that's mean, fine. That makes sense. Because if you think about it, he's a Flash villain, right? Just a man throwing boomerangs. What, what type of shit is this? Like, versus a man that could move literally. Faster than the speed of light. I mean, this is the same. <laughs> so if he got, if he got this like little ability type shit, you know, I'm like, okay, I can understand that. Maybe he's a meta human that specializes in some shit like that. Like, I, I didn't have no problem with that personally. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't uh, either. Harley Quinn looks a bit different. She kind of looks the same, kind of not. She doesn't have that yeah. Arkham look though. She has like a different vibe. Um, hey, that fade that she got in the back of her head, that shit looks fire. <laughs> Deadshot looks pretty cool. I like the gauntlets that he has. They look really cool. Um, King Shark looks really good. We'll talk about King Shark in I mean, a second. I mean, it looks, it looks good, 
But I was expecting something else because you know what's I mean, funny. If you, you, if you used to the Flash TV show, like that Ken Shark looks good. No, it does not. I was thinking like no, like the not CG wise, but I'm talking about like how he looks as a character. Yes. Like I, I like that. I was thinking something like that, but they did a little twist to it. I'm like, eh, it's a different look, but I'm so. Cool you know what's with it. funny? When you know that line where he says, "Oh my God, it's Superman, the mighty Superman." Why yeah. did I hear Drax? Drax? Yes, Drax. you're my son, bro. I, 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 but it's First actually not him. Mind. It's not him though. But I no, swear. No, not the voice, but the way he speaks. It, yeah, it, no, I heard, Drax. I heard Dave Batista in that voice. I don't know why, but. You know, I heard that. I was like, is that Dave? I would have loved that. If Dave Batista was voicing him, shit. That'd be great. Um, but he's not. Um, but apparently there's more on the roster. Enchantress, El Diablo were the two names I remember. Um, so I'm very excited for this game. Um, and now I'm going to get the question. Oh, why are you shitting on this? But you didn't. But you sh Why aren't you shitting on this? But you shit on Gotham Knights. Well, for one, I don't even think this is going to be a co-op game, and I don't want it to be a co-op game. Second of all, this game is going to be much different to Avengers in the sense that this game is probably going to be rated M. Mm -hmm. I'm only assuming because Batman got the R the M rating. Yeah. So. It's fucking Batman. Like, how, who, whenever do you expect Batman to get a M rating? But... So... I, I'm excited, you know, I, I think this game is gonna be really badass. No question um, I I think this is gonna be really good um Hold on hold on Hold on brother Where did this shit go? That's nice. I just deleted my notes by accident. That's great. Oh, yo, Mickey. <laughs> oh, great. I found it. Next up is Flashpoint. Ooh. Um, okay. First of all, round of applause. The Fun GOAT, fact. <laughs> the goat is been... returning. Ben Affleck, the best Batman clowns. Is coming back as the Messiah himself, Batman. I, when I read that, I think I did three backflips out my house. I'm kidding. If I did a flip, I'd probably break my neck. Um, <laughs> but I read that and I was so happy. We got concept art for Flashpoint, and it looks very good. The suit, the new suit, looks very good. Um. But one piece of, one thing I noticed that a lot of people didn't, they released a piece of concept art, and Flash is fighting side by side with Michael Keaton Batman, mm -hmm. which, if I'm using my brain, which a lot of people don't know how to do, this basically confirms that this is Thomas Wayne, and Michael Keaton is playing Thomas Wayne. Now, uh, people are saying... Oh, how could he be playing Michael Keaton? Uh, who Michael Keaton gonna play Thomas Wayne? When they already showed Thomas Wayne in the in the in the DC yeah, I know what you're talking thing. about. Yeah, it's like. I mean, shit. I would love Jeffrey D. Morgan as Thomas Wayne more than the next guy, but I mean, what what, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Now, do I want Thomas Wayne to be played by Michael Keaton? No. Now, can he do it? Probably. And I'm only saying probably because of his work in Spider-Man with the Vulture. He can play a good villain. Now, he's not supposed to be the villain, but Thomas Wayne is supposed to be like this dickhead-like character. Let's be honest. Michael Keaton, even though he's a GOAT, for that man got aged. He's, he's getting old. He's already he so old. Good. Let the man rest. <laughs> but... I, if you ask me, I would much rather have Ben Affleck as Thomas Wayne. I think everybody would. But, I'm not complaining because apparently Ben Affleck is going to stick around in the DCEU. So, see what happens. Um, as for Flashpoint, we didn't really get many details. We got um, the new suit. 
Yeah, we got the new soup. That's pretty much it. So, uh, I'm pretty. Ex I don't. I don't know. I don't want to say I'm excited wait. because it's like. <laughs> We're gonna speak about the Flash later, with uh, with well, another movie that they talked about. Well, I mean, oh no, actually, no, not yet. But not yet. Later. You know, I, 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 it's hard to be excited. It really is because it's like. The DCEU is riding on this movie. Like, people are saying, oh, you're exaggerating. No, I'm not. The same way Flashpoint rebooted the DC Comics into the New 52, which many people will say the New 52 is probably the best line of DC Comics ever made. I read a lot of the New 52. It is amazing. Dude, the same way it was a reboot for DC, this could be a reboot to start from fresh. To say, Batman v Superman never happened. Stupid ass Suicide Squad never happened. Ares never came to that, Earth. If they actually did that, I will, I will pay more attention to, to the DC movies. I mean, this I do is... watch them, don't get me wrong, but it'll, it'll feel refreshing. No, you don't. Say, you you, know, you still we, haven't we, seen we Birds of Prey yet. No, I haven't seen that one. We don't speak about that yeah, yet. Yeah, it's a waste <laughs> of time. Fuck that movie, but... but if they actually pull some shit like that, we're like, okay, I see that they're trying to reboot this in a different way, so fuck it. I'm gonna pay a little bit more attention to them now. I we? just... I, I don't know. This is such an easy way out for them. They really need to put in the effort. They need to. The director of Flashpoint is the director of IT chapters 1 and 2. Take that how you will. One movie I love, the other one I I don't. They, they were talking about that in the panel because you know they had a little Q and A thingy, yeah. and they were talking about the actors. They were like, and, and I think I forgot who else. I think it was the writer. They were like, like you saw his work in It Chapter One. They didn't speak about It Chapter Two at all. <laughs> <They just talking. laughs> Bro, they literally was just talking about It Chapter One. They were like, you see the chemistry how. He makes the actors work with each other, how he, he makes them work, how he could have fun in a moment and then something serious in the next. Well, like, I mean, these actors he, have already worked with each other, albeit a shit yeah. experience, but they've still worked with each other. Yeah, but they, they were talking about that and I'm over here like, okay, I, now by hearing those words, I'm like, I, I can see what he could do with the movie, but when is the movie coming out? When are they gonna fail? We need answers. The, the the other thing for me is, I I can't stress this enough. I know this is one part of the movie. What are they gonna do about Reverse Flash? Is Reverse Flash even gonna be in it? I don't think. I don't think so. I think he'll be a villain that they will tease at the end of the movie. That's something I personally then this, believe. Then then I mean I'm not gonna be pissed off. But listen. I'm not gonna be pissed off for this one reason because I would rather Reverse Flash not be in the movie and have it be its own story than them mm -hmm. shoe. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, than oh, rather oh. have them shoehorn him in with no development, no character, no build, no story, and just say, "Oh yeah, he's in here because he's an, an important to the story." I would rather have you, that. You wanna know why I think they're going to do? Well, what they're going to do is. Because they were in somewhere somewhere in the panel, I don't remember if it was for Justice League Snyder Cut or it was for the Flash, but they were talking about, oh, how Flash still, he's in a way still new to his abilities. Mm -hmm. And is that Zack Snyder, he said, oh, the Flash is a quantum character. So, supposedly, if it's true that he learns about the time travel and you remember how he born Bruce and... Batman v Superman. Yeah. So, what if in Justice League there's a in in the trailer for the Zack Snyder cut, there's a scene that he's running and you see like a gust of wind and you see him running. But that's for later. But supposedly that's the Speed Force. So if he still doesn't know how to use the Speed Force, right? Yeah. If he accidentally see, oh, I can travel back in time and whatever I do go change the future. What if he says, fuck it, let me go save my parents, my mom, or my mom, because his dad is in jail. 
but let me go save my mom because that'll change the future she'll be alive and that's how it leads into flashpoint everything happens he try to fix it and then at the end boom the first flash appears and it's like ha huh. yeah it's like now it's my turn to shine bitch <laughs> I don't know, man. We, we, we're gonna see what happens with Flashpoint. And if they don't do the war with the Damascarians and the Atlanteans, I will fucking shoot somebody. I need that. No, that like, don't be... get me wrong. That would be amazing, but do you really think they'll push some shit like that? They have to, dude. Like, I, I would take Reverse Flash shit. getting kicked out. But I I need that. I need that whole war with Aquaman and Wonder Woman. It's either they do that war or they do um well uh, Batman v Superman sees in the nightmare scene. Well we'll get there. Um so let's talk about the Suicide Squad. The <laughs> reboot, sequel, Bob movie. People? Whatever that movie the is. The <laughs> Suicide Squad movie, directed by James Gunn, coming out in 2021? 2021. Um, first of all, I call bullshit on this panel because we should have gotten footage. There's no reason we got footage for the Batman and we did not get footage for this because this movie comes out before Batman. So I call bullshit. Mm -hmm. With that said... Uh -huh. I very excited for this movie. I was always excited for this movie because I am very passionate about my feelings towards Suicide Squad. Um and I personally really want a violent, gritty Suicide Squad movie. Now this movie was described by James Gunn as a 1950s war movie. That sounds really interesting when you combine that with the su uh, superhero genre. So, I'm very interested in what they can do here. We got the full roster. I'm not going to go over it because it's too many fucking people. The full cast is phenomenal. Um, just to name a few. Uh, Harley, Amanda Waller, Deadshot. I mean, not Deadshot. Um, what, what's his, what's Idris Elba's character's name again? I forgot. Uh... Something, I don't remember. Is it Black Shot? <laughs> I, I think it's Black Shot. Something, something with Shot. Something with Shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what um, I know. Boomerang is back. King Shark. Uh, the Polka Dot Man. Is... <laughs> Peacemaker, I'm not even which joking. is played by John Cena. Yeah, this, the cast is loaded. I love it. This cast... Even, bro, they have Pete Davidson in a Suicide Squad movie. <laughs> <laughs> Come uh... on, man. I love it. Hey, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Even though he's in a movie, I feel like he's gonna be one of the few that are going to catch the axe. If you know what I'm saying. No, no, no. He's not gonna be like Slipknot from. No, you, you want to know why I believe that? Because you know they, in in the in the footage they showed two different teams, right? Yeah. So people are saying, what if the first team will break flag, right? They go to wherever they're going. They fight and some of them get killed off because of what's happening. He comes back and then that's when they send the actual, you know, the real team, the one with Harley and all of them into the back boom, into boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, I need a fucking Suicide Squad trailer with Seven Nation Army playing. That'd be insane. And um, supposedly the villain, if you look at carefully some of the soldiers are on the floor, it looks like they have like a starfish on their face and apparently that's a, a villain I think it's something about the star cock or some shit like that I have no idea who that is so it's, it's some I think it's uh, some alien <gasps> oh my god wait what? Chadwick Boseman just died no way oh my god no Oh my no god, way. no! What the fuck? Oh my god! I I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. I swear to god, I'm about to cry right now. Oh my god, no! What the fuck? I 
I, I, I might have to end it right now. I, I'm, I'm about to lose it. I... I, I, I'm, I'm shocked. <sighs> it was from Colin Cancer. Yeah, I, I just read it on Twitter. Do you remember that video that they released of him when he was like mad skinny and stuff? That people were getting worried? Dang. Alright, come on. Let, let, let's finish this up. Because I'll, I'll, I'm about to lose it, bro. What? What? What, what were we talking about? Um, Justice League. I mean, fuck, uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah, um, I, I think Suicide Squad is gonna be very good. Um, I, I, I think James Gunn is gonna really do a good job. I hope. I, they give it the R rating. I, I think it could be really good. Um,. I guess we can transition into the Snyder Cut. Um, yeah. Everything about the trailer was great. I love the Hallelujah thing. It's pretty funny. The mm -hmm. issue I had with the trailer was that it wasn't really a story trailer. It was just, hey, this is everything that was not in the original movie. Which is mm -hmm. pretty funny. But, um... And it, just that everything alone got everybody hyped. It looks interesting. I've seen people saying, oh, like, the aspect ratio the trailer was in is going to be how the movie is shown, which will be a four-hour movie spread across hour-long episodes on HBO Max, by the way. And uh, Zack Snyder in the panel, mm -hmm. he said that, oh, um, that they're going to find a way to eventually stitch him up together into a movie and release it as a movie. Because, like, like how you said, it's going to be four different, different episodes, episodes, like, an hour long each. He said, yeah, we're going to see how we're going to do this to stitch them up together and release them as a movie. So, like, that you could view them as one long movie instead of just having to watch these four parts. Um, yeah, I, I think now I, I, I'm just worried because, um, this isn't supposed to be canon, apparently. Zack Snyder came out and said it's not. That's, That's why, right. to be to honest, honest what this should, should, I mean, being how shit is gonna happen in this movie, supposedly, it would change the future of the DCU, like, completely change it in its own way but hey man to be honest I, why well, I feel people are gonna watch this and they're gonna have petitions to change and make a canon 100 percent that's gonna happen i hope because i honestly think flashpoint success will ride on this mm-hmm um, I I hope it's canon. I really do because they're teasing a lot in this trailer. Um, talk about the flash stuff. Everything you wanted to mention before you can go off now. Um, so with the flash, so about the scene I was speaking about earlier. So it shows like it looks like it was like a nuke that went off, like a blue smoke and. Instead of, Instead of being, being like, like yellow, yellow flames, flames to look like blue flames, flames and like blew up, 
and then you see like a gust of wind pass by Barry and you see him like look over him and then you see him running and people are saying that what if that's the speed force the speed force is not it's gonna be like a elemental type stuff so they're gonna represent it as like a wind type of like elemental nature ish thing instead of a oh I'll run in here and I'm like da da like but people are saying that that's the speed force that we get in a first look at it and you see Barry running through it probably to warn the Justice League of what's about to happen and also there's another shot that shows some of the Justice League I think and you see like the flash like popping in go like you see different flashes it's still the same flash but you see him like pop here there there and then like you were saying what if that's him traveling for time or some shit or maybe it's him discovering it for the first time like mm -hmm. they did in the show when he ran past like so fast when he was running against yeah. reverse flash and he was like whoa what the fuck did i just do yeah and the way it looks it looks like he's in an energy so basically it's before but you see him like if it was like a ghost ish type if you if you know what I'm talking about, it like, but yeah, I could see that happening, like him discovering for the first time. Yeah. Um. Also, Dark Side looks really great. Um. Steppenwolf also looks way better. Apparently, way you see better. the first guy they show, like in a hoodie. Yeah. Apparently, that's not a uh, uh, Steppenwolf. Yeah, I know, cause it don't look like him. Yeah, hey, it's some other character. And then you got Stefan Wolf, which that armor looks His armor dope. looks amazing. And then I you have Dark him. Side. Apparently that takes that shot is gonna take place. You remember that ward that they had? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it was supposed to be him from the start, not fucking Stefan Wolf. But yeah, and I forgot what it was, but I was looking on Twitter. I think, I think Zack, Zack Snyder, Snyder himself or somebody said, said, oh, by the way, this is baby dark side. Like, yeah. he's yeah, still the he doesn't have his armor yet. He yeah, doesn't have he his, doesn't armor got his armor Or he got his laser beams from his eyes. So that it's probably like, means he's, he's not baby. the, he's probably not the ruler of apocalypse yet. Probably, yeah. He's not, he, cause they said straight up said, he's like, he's a baby in this movie. Like, trust me, later on, y'all see what we talking about. Um, I and we get Black Suit Superman also, which is pretty damn great. Um, mm -hmm. I I I'm just very excited for this. Um, first of all, I'm just glad that Zack Snyder is getting a chance to fulfill his vision. Fuck you, Joss Whedon, and fuck you, Warner Brothers. Um, I I'm just I'm honestly proud. I really am. After everything Zack Snyder went through, I'm just I'm I'm so happy for him. That he's getting, and, and honestly, if I'm asking, if uh, if you're asking me, I don't think this movie's gonna be amazing. I think it's gonna be about on the level of Man of Steel, Batman every Superman. But I, I, regardless, even if this ends up being really disappointing, which I don't think it will be, I'm just happy. You can't just. What, what am I trying to say? You can't sit here and not be like, yeah, I'm happy. I'm not happy for him. You have to be. Yeah. Cause It'd be the, the same shit that thing. happened with him, it's like, this is what I was working at, and tragedy struck, and I didn't get to finish my vision, now that I'm all healed up, even though, trust me, nobody could heal from that, like, yeah, you, you could be better, but that pain will never go away, that's a fact. I, I feel like uh, at this point, the fan base is all he has at this point, and his wife, obviously. Mm-hmm. But yeah. um, like you said, like when he was in the panel, right? Um, one of the uh, he spoke to two fans, the mega fans that they supported the yo, let's get the Snyder cut. Like mm -hmm. the people who started that. Yeah. He spoke to one of them, and then he spoke to another guy. And that guy, like you could see, like he tried. He was speaking, and the way he was speaking, you you Loki felt the pain in his voice, type shit, like. Like, like yo, yo, I really thank y'all. Like y'all like, really there for me. Like, this is gonna be the same thing if David Ayer gets his director's cut of Suicide Squad, which I no, no, we we don't. No, I don't care about that. Why? 
I mean, I want to see more Joker to be honest. But besides that, like, I man, care about it. Like, the difference between him and Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder, it was like he didn't have no other choice than to leave the movie and hand it off to somebody else. This man, he had the movie all along. It was a studio that fucked him over. Like, that's, that's the only reason why I'm thinking, like, like, I mean, if they allow it, okay, congratulations, I'll probably watch it again, because why not? But the Zack Snyder one has more deeper meaning because of what happened to him and everything he had to do. But, like I was saying, yo, watching that panel, I was like, damn, bro, you could, feel, you could, you could really feel sorry for him. Yeah. And he looks skinnier now, like, he looked way skinnier. <laughs> Um, shit, what was I going to say? But I, I, I'm proud of him. I, I really am. Mm-hmm. Um, and lastly, to wrap this up, because we're running out of time. The, first of all, if you're looking for me to say that DC is going to beat Marvel, you came to the wrong place. <laughs> if you think that Marvel is done for because of one movie, you are smoking dicks. Thank you. With that said, the Batman looks fucking incredible. That yeah, I could end the video right here, right now. The Batman looks fucking incredible. Everything about no. this trailer was to me picture perfect. This is the perfect trailer. This was on the level of the Infinity War teaser trailer when that trailer came out. It was the perfect trailer. It did everything it needed to for me. I. The the um, the bat suit looks phenomenal. Robert Pattinson is gonna kill it as Batman. I I'm convinced. Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon looks great. The Riddler. I know they don't really show him in his natural habitat. That's because I don't think he's gonna be in his natural habitat in this movie. And I'm so down for this new version. Catwoman looks great. And my biggest thing I can praise about this movie from what I've heard is that. Batman Begins was year one Batman. That's what Nolan said, but with a tweak. This is also year one Batman, but with a better tweak in the sense that every villain in this movie is not the villain that they are, they are in the comics. For example, Penguin is not the mob boss that he is in the comics. Riddler is not as big as he is in the comics. Catwoman is not the master thief that she is in the comics. Catwoman is just like Batman, just getting her start. Mm -hmm. That's what I love. And no, Batman I is just like that. You, you and me spoke about this. You, you almost wanted to cut my throat. <laughs> but for me, don't get me wrong, the trailer was good. But for some reason, I don't know. Like, I, I want to see another trailer to be like fully convinced. I don't need like, another trailer. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just me, but if I didn't like, see another trailer, trailer but... if I didn't see another trailer, I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm good. Let's go. I will go see it right now." Because the director is amazing. I've been stating this from day one. Everyone said, "Oh, I don't know about this Batman movie." This director is phenomenal. Dawn for the Planet of the Apes, War for the Planet of the Apes, Cloverfield, three of the best movies of this generation. Maybe not Cloverfield. I mean, Cloverfield is amazing, <laughs> but, you know, in its own right. But Dawn and War for the Planet of the Apes? Two movies of an epic trilogy. He didn't direct uh, I Rise. I'm not going to lie. I still got to watch the last movie, War for the Planet of the Apes. It's really good. But, you know, you guys got to have faith. I'm excited. I, I really am. The cinematography looks phenomenal. This movie looks incredible. And obviously I got to talk about it. The brutality is fucking epic. <laughs> yo, like he, he yo, he did too much for that guy, bro. First you beat him standing up. Get him on the floor to beat him even more like he got to show him he got to show him who daddy is. Um No, you got to show him who's vengeance. Come on. The the Batman voice is also really good too. But, um, that's pretty much DC fandom in a nutshell. Um, this was really awesome to see. Um, hopefully we can get more things like this, you know, in Comic-Con and all of them can stop being so fucking petty with Hall H. 
you know, and actually, you know, this was our Hall H, and it was awesome to be together with people and witnessing all this stuff. Um, I'm very excited for the DCEU. Um, my most excited DCEU thing is probably Suicide Squad. Um, I say that only because Snyder Cut isn't supposed to be canon, um, and Batman is not DCEU. It is its separate own thing. So... Thank you guys so much. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I didn't want to be saying this, leaving this video, but rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Um, and just stay safe out there. See you.